To get regular updates, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Hello friends, this is Dipalisha from Examben. In this lesson, we are going to see about the tribes of India, its place in the Indian constitution and the list of tribes which is divided into the two parts. Before getting started, do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. So, let's get started. Tribes of India a tribe is a social division in the traditional society consisting of the families linked by social, economic, religious or blood ties with the common culture and a dialect. A tribe possesses certain qualities and characteristics that make it a unique in cultural, social and political entity. They are also known by the name of the Adivasis in India. The nature of what constitutes an Indian tribe and the very nature of the tribes have changed considerably over the course of the centuries. There are around 645 distinct tribes in India. The Constitution of India officially recognizes the tribal population as the scheduled types in the fifth schedule which is often grouped together with the scheduled caste in the category scheduled caste and tribes. The tribal people of India are eligible for certain constitutional benefits and perks. The Constitution of India, Article 366.25, defines scheduled tribe as the such tribes or tribal communities or part of or groups within such tribes or the tribal communities as are deemed under Article 342 to be scheduled tribes for the purpose of this constitution. Common Features of the Tribes Geographical Isolation they live in the cloistered, exclusive, remote and the inhospitable areas such as hills and forests. Backwardness, the livelihood based on the primitive agriculture with the low level of technology leads to poverty, are generally illiterate and are unaware of the world's progress. Shyness of contact, they have a marginal degree of contact with other cultures and people. They have distinctive culture, language and religion that they follow. List of tribes in India The tribal population that are found across the various part of the country are listed as follows. Bills The name Bills is derived from the bow. The Bills are found in the Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Maharashtra and the northeastern part of the Tirupura. They are divided into the two main categories such as Central or Pure Bills and the Eastern or the Rajput Bills. They speak Bili which is an Indo-Aryan language. Munda tribe they are mainly found in the Jharkhand but are also spread across the Bihar, West Bengal, Chhattisgarh and Orissa. They speak Mundari which is an Austro-Asiatic language. They remain hunters for centuries but now they have been converted into the settled agriculturist. Santal's tribe It is one of the largest tribe in India and are found in the West Bengal, Bihar, Orissa, Jharkhand and Assam. They speak Santali which is again Austro-Asiatic language. They are engaged in hunting, fishing and cultivation for their livelihood. Gons tribe They are widely spread in the Chindwara district in Madhya Pradesh, Bastar district of Chhattisgarh and also in the parts of Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh and Orissa. They speak Gondi language which is related to the Telugu and the other Dravidian languages. In the northern parts, Gons are often seen speaking the local Hindi. They are divided into the four main tribes namely Rajgons, Madhya Gons, Dhruve Gons and Khatwalwar Gons. Khasi tribe Mainly found in the state of the Assam and the Jaintia Hills in the Meghalaya, they are also found in the other places such as Punjab, UP, Manipur, West Bengal and Jammu and Kashmir. They are called by the different names such as Khasi, Peris, Kasi, Khasi and Khasa. They speak Khasi which is an Astro-Asiatic language. Baiga tribe They are found in the states of the Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh and Orissa. They are of the forest dwelling of originals from the central India. They do not interact with the other tribal and believe in a hand-to-mouth existence. Birhor tribe Again, they are found in the Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand and Orissa and are known as the hunter tribe. This tribe is a Porto asteroid tribe. The tribe is divided into the two major sub-tribes such as the Jagis boar which is of wandering in nature and practice shift cultivation while the Uthalu Briho is a tribe that is settled and follow the agro-based economy. Chenches tribe 
This tribe is found at the Nallamalai hills of the Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Odisha. They speak Chenchu language which is of the Telugu accent. They are referred to as one of the primitive tribal groups that are still dependent on the forest and do not cultivate land but hunt for a living. Gadi's tribe they mainly dwell around the Himachal Pradesh in the regions of the Dhulandhar mountain range, Chamba, Bharmapur and the areas near to the Dharmashala district. Their main occupation is shepherding and they make their livelihood by rearing and selling sheep, goats, mules and horses. They speak the Gadi language but for writing they use Takri and Hindi. Pangwal tribe they are the inhabitants of the Pangi Valley of the Chamba district in the Himachal Pradesh and they are mostly engaged in the farming. Bhutia tribe they are also known as the Lanche Pasan Lanch Pangas. They are of the Tibetan origin and migrated to Sikkim around the 16th century. They form 14% of the total population of the Sikkim. They usually speak Sikkimese but they also speak Lepcha, Bhutia, Nepali, English and Hindi. Limbus or Limbus tribe They are one of the indigenous tribe of the Sikkim belonging to the Nepal ancestral. Mongolid looking by the feature, having their own language, faith, costume, culture and lifestyle, but they are farmers by the profession. Lepcha tribe They are one of the indigenous tribe of the Sikkim. They call themselves Rongkab and their language is Lepcha. They follow the same Tibetan form of the Buddhism besides the local faith. Buxar tribe They are one of the primitive tribal groups of India found in the Uttarakhand and the Uttar Pradesh. They are the indigenous people in the Dehradun and the Nainital in Kumaon region. The major occupation of this tribe is agriculture and animal husbandry. Apatani or the Tani tribe They are the settled agriculturists inhabiting the valley around the zero. The headquarters of the lower Subhanshuri district in the Arunachal Pradesh. They practice permanent wetland cultivation in the hilly terrain by slicing the hills. Adis or the Bokar Loba tribe. This tribe is found in the region of the Arunachal Pradesh, Assam and are divided into the two major categories such as Bogam and Bomis. They by nature are democratic and organized village council called Kibang. Naishi tribe in Arunachal Pradesh they constitute a large group of people inhabiting the major part of the lower Subhanshri district They are of the Indo-Mongol group of people and their language belongs to the Tibeto-Burman family The tribe as a whole is fond of hunting and fishing in which they perhaps excel than any other neighboring tribes Kamti tribes They are a sub group of the Shan people in the Lohit district in the Arunachal Pradesh. The Thai Kamti have their own script for their language known as the Lik Thai which was originated from the Shan Thai script of the Myanmar. Tagin tribe. They are the main inhabitant of the upper Shunashri district in the Arunachal Pradesh. Their major occupation is agriculture. Angami tribe The Angamis are a major Naga ethnic group native to the state of the Nagaland in the northeast India. Tanaidi is the most common language spoken amongst them and agriculture is the main occupation. Rengmas tribe They are one of the major 17 Naga tribes located in the Nagaland. They follow the patriarchal system. Originally they were animist and the agriculture is the main occupation. A section of them have migrated to Karbi and Galong districts of the Assam. Sema Sumi Naga tribe. They are one of the major tribes of the Nagaland recognized for their martial art skills. They mainly inhabit the Zunhe Putu in Nagaland and Assam. They are the most united and the aggressive tribe. Zeliang tribe. They live primarily in the southwestern part of the Kohima district. They inhabited the Bareilly range of the hills in Manipur, Nagaland and Assam. They speak Zemi which is a Sino-Tibetan language. Konyak tribe. They are the largest out of the 17 officially recognized tribes in the Nagaland. They are known as those violent head hunters with the tattooed faces, but now they practice agriculture and hunt seasonally. Garos tribe. They are the second largest tribe in Meghalaya. and comprise about a third of the local population 
The youngest daughter inherits the property from her mother. Sons leave their parents' house at puberty and are trained in the village bachelor dormitory. After getting married, the man lives in his wife's house. Garo's tribe has matrilineal society instead of the matriarchal society. Jainita's tribe This tribe is trained in the Jaintia Hills in Meghalaya and they belong to the proto-Autroloid Mokamar race. Jaintias is a basically sub-tribe of the Khasis and since they have been residing in the Jaintia Hills, they have been named as Jaintias tribe. Rianak tribe They are the second largest tribal community of the Tirupura. They are said to have the first come from the Shan state of the Upper Burma and belong to the Indo-Bangolid racial stock. Their language is known as the Kubru, which have a tonal effect of the Kukki language. Rinak tribe is nomadic in nature and a large number among them maintain their livelihood involving the top hill zoom cultivation, food gathering, fishing and hunting. Lushchia's tribe They belong to the Kukki Chin group of the tribes in Tirpura. They live on the jhum cultivation and hunting of the wild animals. They are also famous for the orange producing community. With this, we have come to the end of this session. Thank you for watching till the end. In the next lesson, we would be seeing about the remaining tribes and the problem faced by them. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. Thank you.